What's up guys, Justin here with thecgessentials.com back with another Blender viewport tutorial for you. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about some quick tips for navigating your view inside of Blender. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. So I started running into this issue um, when I was playing around with the city generation tool from Curtis Holt. I was just kind of playing around, seeing what kind of cities I, would cre I could create, things like that. And what I was starting to run into is you start getting a whole bunch of things in your viewport and it's hard to quickly navigate to them so it's easy to get lost inside of your viewport so I wanted to talk through a few quick tips for different things you can do in order to navigate quickly so tip one is if you have something in your outliner that you want to find you can click on it and then use the period key in your numpad so if I select an object inside of my outliner and then I move my mouse over into the viewport and hit the period key that's gonna focus on whatever I have selected so for example if I was to select a different building over here in my outliner and then move my mouse over here you can see how this will move my camera so that I can see the selected item inside of my viewport so this can be a really quick way to find different things in your viewport it's just by hitting that period key on your numpad. And so alternatively, you can also use this to find things in your outliner. So finding things in your outliner can be a little bit frustrating because you do a lot of scrolling if you have a lot of different objects. Well, if you select an object in your viewport and then mouse over your outliner and hit the period key, it'll go find that thing that you have selected inside of your outliner. So you can use this to find basically anything inside of your outliner really quickly. So in addition, sometimes you have an object and you just wanna work with that object for whatever reason. Um, so what you can do is you can isolate that object in your viewport just by hitting the front slash key on your keyboard. So you can see how by hitting front slash, what that'll do is that'll isolate your one object so that you're only working with that one object. And then when you wanna move back out of the isolate, you can just hit the slash key again. So you can use this to quickly work on a single object and turn everything else off just by tapping that key. So another viewport tip that can be really helpful is sometimes you're like way zoomed in on different things. You wanna zoom back out and it gets a little bit annoying. Well, if you just tap the home key, what that's gonna do is that's gonna, gonna basically move your camera view out so that you can see everything that's unhidden inside of your model. So if you're ever like too far in here and you wanna just like zoom out really quickly instead of messing around at the scroll wheel, just hit the home key on your keyboard in order to see everything at once. So another great tip is sometimes you wanna view a certain region. So for example, let's say I wanted to view this region right here. Um, and you could definitely like scroll in here and use the scroll function in order to uh, in order to find whatever view you're looking for. Alternatively though, sometimes if you just wanna drag a box around this, you can do a shift B and then click and drag. And what that'll do is that'll zoom based on the box that you drag. So if I do a shift B, then click and drag over here, you can see how I can move my view in to look at a certain region. So shift B, click and drag in order to zoom to a certain region. And notice I'm clicking with my left mouse button in order to do this, this is in Blender 2.82. So you can also hold the Alt key and click the middle mouse button and that'll quickly move your camera around to center your view based on whatever you click on. So if you hold Alt and then click your middle mouse like this, then it's going to quickly move you around to these different views. So Alt and click will center your view on whatever point you've clicked on. And another tip with that, when you're holding the Alt key, is not only can you do that, you can also, if you hold the Alt key and then click and drag, so like this, for example, I clicked and dragged my middle mouse button up, and what that did is that'll quickly take you into your um, into your preset elevation views. So for example, if I click and drag this down, this will rotate this down. If I click and drag it up, so I'm holding the Alt key this whole time, and then I'm clicking and dragging my middle mouse button. You can see how I can move between these different preset views. It's kind of like clicking on the X, Y, or Z key, but you can do it by holding Alt and then clicking and dragging your middle mouse button. So another tip we've talked about before, but we can definitely talk about it again, is um, sometimes when you're moving your camera view around, it can get a little bit annoying trying to move it around with the uh, movement tools, right? So if you wanna move this like up or down and then rotate it, it starts getting kind of messy trying to do that. 
And so what you can do is if you tap the zero key in order to get into that camera view mode, so now we're in the mode where you can see what this camera is gonna show. If you go into the view option, so if you tap the in key and then go into the view options and click on the button for lock camera to view, now that camera will move wherever your camera goes. So if I wanted to focus my camera on this location right here, or this building right here, for example, um, you can see how I can do that and my camera is moving along with me. So now if I tap the zero key again to move out of that, you can see how my camera is focused on what I had in the viewport. So if you tap zero to go into that camera view and then check the box for lock camera to view, this will automatically adjust your camera to align with whatever you're seeing inside of your viewport. So there are a lot of other camera tricks that you can use inside of Blender. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what your favorites are. I'll probably do a follow-up video to this at some point with some more camera tips and tricks. But if you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new Blender content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it. I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.